Well, good morning, wonderful people. I come to you on behalf of the Lord this morning with a wonderful word and revelation for America. My name is Deacon Up. I am from Power and Unity Ministries, and I want to get right into the word. If you need to know anything about us, you can go to www.powerinunity.com. There is a it is our website. You can learn of us. You can leave your prayer requests there. You can leave your testimonies there. You can write us. There is a an address there to where we receive mail. And we appreciate everything. I appreciate so many things that you have said, so many comforting and encouraging words to me since our ministry has gone into video. And I am so appreciative. But I wanted to get into this word so much this morning um, because... God had me up early and I was praying and I was worshiping and I kept seeing this vision. And I said, okay, Lord, show me what this means. Show me what this means. And the vision was of a sandstorm, a sandstorm. If you've never seen or been in a sandstorm, they are, they are bad. They are bad, but they leave things very clean when they're finished. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I say that because when I was working for the Department of Corrections out in Arizona, I had <clears throat> the experience of, of of a sandstorm. I just heard everybody running and bells going off, and they said, "Get in your houses, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. And um, because a sandstorm was coming, they locked everything down. And I promise you, it was ninety mile an hour winds bringing sand across the desert. And it was, uh, you could actually, I was sitting in my office and I could see the sand just seeping through the walls. It, the, the wind was so strong and it destroyed a lot of, a lot of things on the outside. But when it was finished, the air, air was, it was so silent and the air was so, so, um, clean, fresh. It was like it just did some cleaning, even though it was sand. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's kind of like a hurricane. I lived through a hurricane, and those hurricanes, they come in and they whirl this way. And and when you're in the eye of the hurricane, the, it sits there for a while, and then everything is quiet, and then it whirls around in the other direction. And when it's finished, you know, there's a lot of devastation out there, but everything is so fresh. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it, there's devastation, but the air is fresh. I remember when we went through that hurricane that, um, uh, it was three years, three years before there was a, a wet cobweb on our home. That's how fierce that wind was through that hurricane. <laughs> Three years, it took down 50 trees in our property and only none of them hit the house. There was only about five shingles out outside the house. And there was, this is God's protection. He is so awesome. And and uh, there was one big oak that was right at the corner of the house between the house, the backyard and the driveway. And it split in two, missing the house. Now, if that's not God, I don't know what is. But I'm telling you that because it is the same sensation right after the sandstorm, like just after the hurricane. There's devastation, but everything seems more clear. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but what I'm, how I'm trying to describe that. But after I kept seeing this, I said, oh, Lord, what are you showing me? And he did give me a word and a revelation for America. And I think that's where it all is going to accumulate and it's going to begin. This whole world in a, is in a disastrous time. And it has been our fault, the church to me, because we let down our guard and we allowed things that should not have ever happened, but we allowed them. And now we're paying the cost for it. But God, my two favorite words in the whole wide world. But God, through all the devastation and all the confusion and all the uh, delusions and all the falseness that has gone on, God still reigns. And God is in charge. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He doesn't miss a beat. He has set things in order in this frame. 
and he has set things in order and uh, to where they are, the timelines are to fit just perfect. And I believe today that we are in that timeline that are going to see the miraculous and the miracles that they did in the days of old, probably even more than they did in the days of old. For there are more of us around the world today to, to see the lay hands on the sick and see them recover, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, praise be unto God. We're going to see the miraculous. My Lord and my God, let me get into the word. After I saw this vision, I kept asking the Lord, I said, I want to see what's behind the storm. What's behind the storm? What is the reason for the storm? Hear what he has to say. There is coming a sandstorm of this I have forewarned. It will blind the enemy of your soul. Of this I have foretold. Blind leading the blind, as I turn the switch, both will stumble and fall into the ditch. I guard you from the enemy's attack. I always have your back. My Lord and my God. Hallelujah, not a Messiah. I hear the word coming out in these things where he has said. In the past, he's talking about the storms. He might not. To me, he might not have ever mentioned a sandstorm, but he has mentioned storms. Didn't matter what they were, just beware a storm is coming. But here he specifies a sandstorm, and it's going to blind the enemy. Hallelujah, son of Malaya. Glory be to God. But he says the blind will lead the blind as I turn the switch, this to that, suddenly and quickly. There he get, talks about it again. Both will stumble and fall into the ditch. I guard you from, from the enemy's attacks, and I always have guarded, uh, got your back. I've always got your back. Now hear what he says about America. Turbulent times are coming. People to and fro are running. I hold the key to break America free. Ooh, hallelujah, holy Messiah. Turbulent times are coming, people to and fro running. I hold the key to break America free. Hallelujah. Then he goes into some history. Gee, people came from around the world to see this new land, the land of the free. I birthed it to sustain itself with my treasures and my wealth. My Lord and my God, if you will get a map of the United States of America and you will look at all the four corners of this earth, not only what you can see on the surface, but what you know is under the earth in every corner, you will understand when he said, I burst it to sustain itself. America does not need the other nation's products. It can sustain itself. Hallelujah. But you're going to see what happened. Because he said, I have planted treasures and given my wealth to this station that I birthed. It's just like Israel. He birthed Israel to, to be his, his nation, his people. And he birthed America. I believe with all my heart, the two nations that were birthed under God is America and Israel. Hallelujah, son of Messiah. He always reminds us and warns us ahead of time when there's something coming down the pike. Whether it be good or bad, and anything that's bad that the enemy has planted, God is about to turn into good. Hallelujah. Let me start that over and, and try not to inter intervene. Turbulent times are coming, people to and through running. I have the key to break America free. People have come from all over the world to see this new land, the land of the free. I birthed it to sustain itself with my treasures and my wealth. Its forefathers understood my plan for people to work together hand in hand. There's the unity. But greed came in and caused many to sin. Satan throwing his fiery darts, causing sin to enter the heart, using all his deceptive tools to break my golden rule. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. My Lord and my God, did you hear what he said? 
But I want to encourage you with America. I am not through. Many eyes will open, see the deception, turn to me and follow my direction. When the sandstorm, he, now he's going to explain a little bit more what's going on in the sandstorm. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah, <laughs> glory be to God. When the sandstorm is through and, and the devil receives his due, the winds cease, the sky is clear, it is time to stand up and cheer. Now you say, why? Because you know there's devastation out there. For evil has been swept away, and this is a brand new day. Woo, hallelujah. For now we see angels on horseback. They cause the dusty track. Woo, hallelujah. I can barely sit here. Oh, Gloria, my Shandaira Messiah. You understand the sandstorm or the angels. Woo, they were on horseback and they were causing all this commotion. Oh, hallelujah. That's why he says it's time to stand up and shout. For evil was swept away, and this is a brand new day. The Lord, and then not only did I see this war, this sandstorm, but all of a sudden I saw a big old hand come down from heaven and just swoop up a bunch of sand and just toss it. Woo, hallelujah, and he explained that the Lord with one sweep of his hand said, back off, this is my land. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah! It is time to shout and sing as we soar now on eagles' wings. <laughs> Hallelujah! New boldness has, has, has entered our heart as America gets a brand new start. Tools in one hand, the Bible in the other, working together, helping America recover. Glory be to God. When he said tools in one hand and a Bible in the other, my mind went to Nehemiah. I think it's the fourth chapter where he talks about how, how the uh, 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 heathen king gave him permission to come over and rebuild. And they had a, a tool in one hand and a sword in the other, watching out for the enemy. Woo, in that old oh, Shandai Ramasaya. Anyway, it just reminded me of that. I just threw that in. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Now, all glad to be a part of the land that's having a brand new start. Now led by in Christ we stand singing praises to the great I am. No longer deceived, God's word with gladness is received. Ooh, hallelujah, son of the Moshiach. Have we been watching and waiting? Have we been praying for this moment to come? I don't know how long God is going to allow things to happen before this sandstorm hits the earth. Ooh, but he is giving it a rebirth and he is bringing in his glory cloud and he is lifting up his church. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm going to continue and finish this. And then I'm going to give you scripture, my Lord and my God. And right after this, I want to try to say it with just in its content because it's so beautiful. It's so powerful. It's so God. Hallelujah. Though righteousness now reigns, he always gives a warning, a revelation, a warning, a praise. It always happens that way with Jesus. Listen, the righteousness, though righteousness now reigns and many souls have been gained, this is not the end of the age. The enemy again, you will engage. Truth this time will cause the cages of hell to rattle as with Christ we win each battle. Ooh, hallelujah. No longer will he steal our hopes and dreams with his vicious deception and schemes. We are no longer deceived by the lies he tries to weave. In Christ we stand, holding hand in hand. We found unity to be the key in all battles, the victory. 
Woo! Hallelujah. What a powerful word. Encouragement. Warnings. Uh, <laughs> revelation, my Lord. And then listen to this ending. Devil, you are a defeated foe. This we now truly know. Our hearts now sing and shout from the rooftops. We cry out, Yahweh is creator of all. And on Yeshua, we call the Holy Ghost, our comforter and friend, the Holy Trinity with us till ages end. My God. <laughs> Oh, what a powerful word this morning. I just had to stop everything. It may not be morning where you are, and it may not be morning where I am, but it is the morning when I start. <laughs> because Once I get my husband up and get him dressed and we get take our communion, then my day starts. And a lot of times that's about noon. <laughs> so because of our time schedule with his meds and all that kind of stuff. But anyway... It's God amazes me. He amazes me how he does this and he says it all in rhyme and he puts it in scriptures there to follow what he's saying. I want to repeat this. If I can calm down one more time, I want to give you some scriptures that he's get, he gave me to go along with this. Oh, praise be unto God. <laughs> if you can doubt God now after all see, hearing all this and Oh, Lord, take the blinders off is all I ask. Praise be unto God. First, I saw the vision of the sandstorm and uh, the 90 mile an hour winds that I I actually went through myself. Uh, and I asked the Lord, what does this all mean? And this is what he said. There is coming a sandstorm of this I have forewarned. It will blind the enemy of your soul and of this I have foretold. Blind, leading the blind, as I turn the switch, both will stumble and fall into the ditch. Ooh, I, I, uh, I guard you from the enemy's attack. I've always got your back. Turbulent times are coming, people to and fro running. I hold the key to break America free. People came from around the world to see this new land the land of the free. I birthed it to sustain itself with my treasures and my wealth. Its forefathers understood my plan for people to work together hand in hand. But greed came in and caused them to sin. Satan throwing his fiery darts, causing sin to enter the heart, using all his deceptive tools to break down my golden rule. But I want to encourage you with America, I am not through. Many eyes will open to see the deception, turn and follow my direction. When the sandstorm is through and the devil receives his due, the winds cease, the sky is clear. It is time now to stand up and cheer. For evil has, to, has been swept away and this is a brand new day. For now we see the angels on horseback. They cause the dusty tracks. Ooh, hallelujah. The Lord with one sweep of his hand said, back off. This is my land. Hallelujah. It is time to shout and sing as we soar now on eagle's wings. New boldness enters our heart as America has a new start. Tools in one hand and the Bible in the other, working together, helping America recover. Now all glad to be a part of our land's new start. Now led in Christ we stand, singing praises to the great I Am. No longer deceived, God's word is now gladly received. Hallelujah to the Lamb. 
The righteousness, though righteousness now reigns and many souls are gained, this is not the end of the age. The enemy again, we will engage. Warning. Truth this time, though, listen, will cause the cages of hell to rattle as with Christ we win each battle. No longer will he steal our hopes and dreams with his vicious deception and schemes. We are no longer deceived by his lies that he tries to weave. In Christ we stand, holy on hand in hand. We found unity to be the key in all the battles. There is victory. Now, devil, you are a defeated foe. This we now truly know. Our hearts now sing and shout from the rooftops. We now cry out. Yahweh is creator of all. And on Yeshua, we now call. The Holy Ghost, our comforter and friend, the Holy Spirit with us till ages end. My Lord and my God, how awesome is his promises to us. In Matthew 15, 14, it says, let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into the ditch. Word of God. Matthew 7, 7, 7, 12 says, Therefore, whatsoever you want man to do to do, do you, do to them. The golden rule. Now, I have just a few scriptures about God and about Christ and about the Holy Spirit. My Lord and my God, who live in us today. Isaiah 45, 12 says, I have made the earth and created man on it. My hands stretched out the heavens and all their host I have commanded. This is the power of God. Jeremiah 32, 17 says, Ah, Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and your outstretched arms. There is nothing too hard for you. My Lord and my God, hallelujah, my mind went to the kid, the people of God in the desert and how he fed them and how he, their clothes never wore out and their shoes grew right along with them. They had water from a rock. They had manna from heaven, my Lord and my God. Hebrews 11.3 says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. He framed it all, formed it, set it all in, in its perfect place in order. A couple of scriptures on Jesus, John 1 through 3, quoted many times, in the beginning was the word. What did he say here in Hebrews? It, the worlds were framed by the word of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The word was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Colossians 1.16 says, For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominion or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him, and he is before all things and in him all things. Things consist, my Lord and my God, hallelujah, hear these words, Luke 1, 31, verse 31, 32, and 35, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Eshua. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. 
And the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Hallelujah. You know, uh, when we come into the kingdom of God, we receive Christ as our our Savior, our Lord, and our King. We become daughters and king and, and sons of God, but none none like the Son of God that he that he had. There was only one begotten, and we follow him. Now a few verses on the Holy Spirit. John 14, 16 through 17 says, And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither knows him or knows him, but he Okay, I'm sorry. The the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees, has seen him nor knows him. But you know him for he shall be with you and dwell in you. My Lord and my God, how much plainer can he make it? And then John 14, the same, same chapter, verse 6, 26 says, But the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all the things that I have said to you. He's our Comforter. He abides with us forever. Acts 1, 5 says, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized in the Holy Ghost not many days from now. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Woo! And then in John 2, I mean Acts 2, it says, When the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly, there's that quickly again. Woo, there's that, that, that switch being turned, so to speak. There came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. And they appeared to them on them, each one of them, divers tongues of fire. One sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance my lord and my god he said in john 14 22 he said he 26 he will not just be with you but in you and on the day of pentecost he came into us if we want him just ask for him he's there waiting hallelujah when he cleanses this temple and you allowed him to have all of you from top to bottom, every corner, the basement to the attic, every window, every door, every closet is open unto him because you want it opened unto him. He already sees it all. But you want it open to him that nothing stands in your way to receive this bat, the Holy Ghost in you. Hallelujah. In Genesis, I end with this. Verses 1 through 3 and then 26. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters and God said, let there be light and there was light. All he did was speak the word. My Lord, Alo Moshiach, all he did was speak the word. And then in the 26th verse, then God said, let us, in capital letters, make man in our capital letter image according to our capital letter likeness. So he made man from the dust of the earth, but it is in the likeness of God and Christ and, and the Holy Spirit. Adam walked with God. Eve walked with God in that garden he prepared until they sinned. He was willing to come down and talk to them, but they hid themselves. For now they were not covered by the grace and the glory of God. This powerful, holy, awesome trinity abides not only with us, but can dwell in us today. Praise God forevermore. 
My Lord and my God, that is his word to you today. If you don't know this precious Savior who came down from his throne in glory to abide with us, to show us the Father, I invite you right now to meet him. Hallelujah. All you got to say is, Father, I'm a sinner in need of a Savior, Jesus. Come into my heart. Cleanse me. Wash me clean through your precious blood that you shed it out. Then mold me, make me, fill me, and use me for your kingdom work. It's as simple as that. There's now everything on the books in heaven is wiped clean. You have a new slate. There is now there no condemnation in you, for there's no condemnation in Christ. And he said, whosoever receives Christ has eternal life with me. And there is no sin in heaven. But we have a place with him now. But he, while we're here, we are to work for him. So my advice to you is to get into the holy word of God. Find you a devil stomping Bible believing church and begin to worship him. Worship him in spirit and in truth. And then there is nothing impossible for you. I love you this morning. God loves you so much.